Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to do a BIOS flash on your ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Plus. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to do a BIOS update on our ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Gaming Plus. Uh, for two reasons, one of which is I'm trying to get my RAM to work correctly at its rated speeds. Now this is the V-Color Prism 2 RAM, which is rated at DDR4 3600. Uh, currently I've only been able to get it to run at kind of lower speeds, 2666, that kind of thing. Flipping the XMP setting in the BIOS has not worked for me, so it just uh, ends up taking a long time. There's about three or four reboots and then eventually it'll go into Windows. Uh, it does seem to go in at the rated speeds at that time, but it's not exactly how I expected it to be. So I've looked at the motherboard, the motherboard's on a slightly older BIOS, so we're gonna do a BIOS upgrade, make sure that's all up to date. Hopefully then there'll be the QVL list will be installed in the system and hopefully the RAM will work. Now we'll go into the computer and I'll show you the uh, quality vendor list and also the RAM speed settings, all that kind of stuff and we'll go through it step by step. But what you will need when you're doing this is, he says looking around, is a USB drive. Now you'll need this to flash the BIOS you can do it over the internet if you want to, but some people have actually reported problems with the ASUS software not really uh, connecting to the internet properly and failing on numerous occasions, especially if it's not directly to the internet through a router, straight to a modem, that kind of thing. If you're doing it through some kind of network with DHCP, for some reason it seems to fall over. So we're gonna do it via USB stick. We'll go through the old fashioned method and see if we can get this RAM to work at its rated speeds. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so first of all, on the desktop, we'll open up Microsoft Edge and we'll go to the X570 Tough website. So Gaming Plus. And this is the motherboard, so we'll expand that. So this is the Gaming Plus. Obviously, when you're doing this, make sure you get it for the right board. There is a Gaming Plus and a Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. Don't uh, use one instead of the other, that you will have a different outcome. So always make sure you're using the correct motherboard BIOS for your version. And let's go to the support section. And if we go to, actually let's go to CPU and memory support. So we're using a Ryzen 5 3600. So that's a third, third gen. And let's see if the memory is supported. So as we scroll down through, we've got QVL third gen AMD Ryzen X570. So that's when we want it. Obviously if you're using a different CPU, like a second gen, or you've got Vega graphics or whatever, then use whichever one is relevant to you. But for me, it's gonna be the third gen AMD Ryzen with the X570. So we'll click on download and that'll just open up in a window. So our RAM is V-Color. So let's look down through the list. Now this is done in speed rating. So as we go down through, there's like 3600s here. And we've got loads of G-Skill, Corsair. So the memory we've got is TL8G368. So TL4, TL8G, so maybe that's a four gig and eight stick. 36B, BRN, 18, so the number's not quite the same. And the speed rating on there is 18, 19, 19, 39, which mine actually on the box says 18, 22, 22, 42, 64. So it's definitely not that one. So it doesn't look like it's actually gonna be on the list. The one that's a bit closer up here again, running at the same time in, so that's 18, 19, 19, 39, uh, 3.5 volts to get that speed. So our RAM isn't actually on the compatibility list, so we may need to put the memory timings in manually uh, if the BIOS flash doesn't help and add the XMP profile for that particular RAM. Obviously, if you have got problems with getting your RAM to run at its rated speeds, do look at the list and make sure that, obviously, your RAM is on there and the timings are all correct and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, let's go back to basics. So what we wanna do is we wanna get drivers and utilities. And then if we go to BIOS and firmware, now let's check to see which BIOS version we're on. So if we go to CPU ID, and we'll open up that and we'll see which BIOS revision we're on currently. If you wanna download CPU ID or hardware monitor, I'll put links in the description so you can check them out for yourself. So main board wise, currently we are on BIOS revision. 10.005. So, and that's uh, quite an oldish BIOS from back in August. So we can definitely upgrade from there. So the version's available at the moment. The current one is 14.05, so that's uh, quite a jump. So if we look at the other ones, 
So there's a 1404. Yeah, there's been quite a few since then. So that's the one we've got currently, version 10005. And that improves system performance, improved performance. This will enable certain APUs. And again, this one improves performance. So let's go ahead and download this version. And we'll do save as. And we'll leave it on the desktop so it's nice and easy to find. So we minimize that now, get rid of that one. And let's extract all. Now you don't have to do this, this is just something which I've always done. I don't know why I do it, but I, uh, I seem to do it. So now we're going to install our USB stick. And we'll open the folder. So this is my Windows install, I've just done a fresh install of Windows. Uh, we can leave that actually on there. So what we'll do is we'll just drag those across, stick them onto the flash drive. And this is a slightly older USB 2 device, so it's uh, going to take a little while. There we go, so that is our USB stick. So now if we uh, reboot and we'll go into the BIOS, so restart. And whilst this restarting, we'll just tap the delete key to enter the BIOS when it's done. Okay, so now we're in the BIOS, and I do apologize if the colors look a little bit off. For some reason, my video capture card doesn't particularly like going into BIOS for some reason. This is the HD60S, uh, it doesn't really like it, so I'm not too sure what that's all about. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to flash the BIOS. So what we're gonna have to do, and actually before I do that, let's look at the speed. So here we've got our memory speed and processor speed. So you can see our memory at the moment is running DDR2666. And we could enable DOCP, but it does seem to cause problems at the moment. So we're not gonna do that quite yet. So let's go into advanced mode. And then we can go into tool at the top here. And then we'll go to easy flash three. And we'll choose the via storage devices option. Click next. Obviously at this point you can choose internet if you wish to, but um, for simplicity and for ease of use and for reliability, I'm gonna go with the USB. So we'll hit next, and then we need to choose our particular drive and the actual folder. So we'll choose that one, and that's our cap file there. As we said before, 1405, so we'll hit that. Do you want to read this file? We'll click yes. And at this point, when it's actually reading the file, you'll find that your mouse will be uh, non-responsive. And now we've read it, so it says, do you really want to update the BIOS? And that is the version and the date, so that's quite a newish one. So we're gonna click yes. And again, whilst this is processing, you won't be able to use the mouse. The mouse will be uh, disabled, as will all other things. At this point, do not disconnect your power supply. Do not turn the machine off. Do not press the power button, reset, anything like that. Just leave it, let it do its own thing. So we'll let that carry on, and we'll come back uh, towards the end of the processing. Okay, so we've uh, come to the end now, so it says update successfully and the system will be reset. So at this time you can pull out your USB stick if you wish to, depending on how you've got your BIOS set up, uh, just in case it tries to boot from your USB stick. And we'll let it do a full reboot. And there we go, there's the usual message, please enter setup to recover BIOS setting. So that means just to uh, get your BIOS back to how they were. So let's press F1 to run setup. And there we go. So we've got our new BIOS version in the top corner here, BIOS version 14.5. So that's taken, no problem at all. We've still got our DRAM status to uh, 266066. So let's try the uh, DOCP now. So let's click on profile one. And we get the message about overvolting, etc. So now it's actually picked up the correct settings for our RAM. So it's set as DDR3. Uh, 3603, uh, 1822, 42, and at 1.35 volts. So that's read correctly from the XMP profile actually on the chips themselves. So let's uh, save and exit and see what happens. So as you can see there, saving set, it's basically added on DOCP, etc., etc. So let's hit OK and uh, see if it'll reboot into Windows.
Okay, so that hasn't gone well. It's rebooted three times and it's gone back into the uh, basically the safe mode setting. So let's run setup again and see if we can do it manually with the memory settings and see if that works out any better. So it hasn't liked that profile, so we'll disable the profile and then we'll go into advanced mode and AI tweaker and then we can go in and manually set the set the memory settings and let's just see if we can get it to work from there. I don't think it's going to like doing that but let's give it a quick go and uh, see what happens. So immediately now it's uh, doing the usual thing where it tries to boot up and then it refuses to boot up with the memory at those timings. Okay, so there we go, we're back into a, uh, a usable system. Unfortunately, not at the rated speeds we were expecting, but we have managed to flash the BOS to the latest version, so we know that the BOS version isn't the issue. It looks like a, it's a compatibility issue with the RAM and the motherboard, and we'll have to have a look at it, maybe look at some tweaks and look into it a little bit more depth. Uh, I will report back on this in the comments section. i maybe do an update video just to let you know how I got on. But in the meantime, you've learned how to flash the BOS on your ASUS X570 Tough Gaming Plus motherboard. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, quick update now. Obviously, if you've watched this video all the way through, you'll realize that it came to a rather uh, poor conclusion. Well, the update is um, it was my fault, or potentially my fault. I've put the RAM into two different slots on the motherboard. So the one furthest away from the CPU then a gap, then the one next to it, and then leaving a gap. Now, normally you'd put them in slots one and three, but in this particular instance, put it in slots two and four, enabled XMP, and straight away we've gone into the system, no problems whatsoever, and at the highest rated speeds. So for all of the uh, pain and anguish, essentially RTFM. So there you go. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.